Today I'm going to show you a nifty trick in Blender that allows you to change your world's background color or texture without altering the colors of your objects. If you've ever noticed that changing the background color affects everything in your scene, this tutorial is for you. Let's dive right in. Imagine you have your scene all set up in Blender, but you don't want the HDRI environment lighting to be visible in your final render. One way of doing this is to go to your World Properties tab. If you want to hide the HDRI from the camera view, navigate to the Ray Visibility section within the World Settings. Simply toggle off the camera option. However, doing this will make your background completely black, which isn't always desirable. If you want to add in images or backgrounds at a later date, you can always go to Render Properties, Film, and Toggle Transparent. This will remove the background color or HDRI altogether. But what if you want to have control over the background color without it impacting the colors of your objects? Here's how you can do that. Switch over to the Shading Workspace and select the World Shader. You'll see the nodes set up for your world environment. Add a Light Path node by pressing Shift plus A, then navigating to input a Light Path. From the Light Path node, get the Is Camera Ray output and connect this to the fact of a Mix Shader node. This output will help us determine whether the ray is coming from the camera, allowing us to control the background independently. Now take your existing background node and connect it to the first shader input of the Mix Shader. Then add another background node and connect it to the second shader input. This setup allows you to have one background color for the camera and another for the rest of the scene. With this configuration, you can now change the color of the second background node without affecting the objects in your scene. This gives you precise control over your background color. But that's not all. You can also replace the background with another HDRI if the first one doesn't give you the look you want. We can duplicate the first set of nodes and place them below, then connect the image texture into the background node. Once that's done, we can add in another HDRI. You're then free to rotate and adjust your HDRI for the view and angle you want, again, without messing with any shadows or objects in the scene. You can then go back to your first image texture, adjust the rotation, and you'll see this affects the lighting on your objects and scene, allowing you the perfect control to get your desired look. And there you have it, a simple way to change your Blender background color without affecting your scene's objects. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Blender tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.